Today, I wanted to give a brief informal discussion about Ein Sof, the ideas of truth, and what I mean by that is truth as uh, an existent thing, as something that we can have some sense of uh, reality to, or some sort of relationship to. And I wanted to talk about perspective. Essentially, what I'm getting at is we're going to look at how we can experience things in life in such a way that some people might be correct, some people might be wrong. When we find in the Zohar many, many times, it will say, you are both right. Uh, that is quite perplexing to many people, but there is a reason for it. There's a reason why this philosophy exists in the Kabbalah, and I wanted to help break that down for many of you. So, the big thing is, Ein Sof is without limitation, right? Like, the terminology is in itself meaning without limitation, without end. It is a uh, limitless entity. And when the seem sum or divine contraction occurs in the space of nothing is created, the or or light of Ein Sulf descends down into it. I've detailed this a few times on various other videos, but it needs to be reestablished here. Now, this or or this light of Ein Sulf is essentially what we might call truth. Uh, we find in Hermeticism the descent of the Logos. Uh, in the Greek mythos, we find the descent of reality, so to say. Or we might say that Plato believed in a true reality, uh, a perfected world that we experience in an imperfected way. That perfected world is essentially the whole truth. Uh, in the same sense, the Or of Ein Sof is the whole truth, the only truth. But what occurs is because this is a philosophical matter, this is not necessarily a theological one, is as it descends down into the cavity, it expresses itself outward and it begins to partition. And this partitioning or this breaking down and fragmental awareness of it or fragmental display of it is quite interestingly how we will eventually experience reality. As it makes its way down through all the chambers of the Kabbalah, or of the Kabbalistic diagrams as it makes its way down into physical reality, mundane reality as we know it, uh, we experience it as thoughts. And what I mean by that is that we can think of these variable possibilities. Uh, the great paradox of Ein Sof is that everything that can be, everything that is, was, and will be, is already pre-existent, existent, and <laughs> it, 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 there's, it, it's already there, right? There is no limitation in the sense of uh, temporal interrelation. Therefore, we can have a scenario where, let's say, people have other gods, right? Uh, we find in a variety of spaces, particularly in pagan spaces, we see uh, polytheism. And the thing is, is Ein Sof, the capacity for that to exist, permits that belief system. Therefore, there is a preeminent state uh, we find in biblical passages, um, God does not say have, uh, or all other gods are false or some manner like that. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not promoting paganism. Y'all know I'm very like Jewish centric, you know, not to be rude to anyone who is, but um, it does not say uh, th there are no other gods. It says there are no other gods beside me and do not worship other gods. So in a strange way, the Bible actually acknowledges the existence of, of them. Now, the thing is, is it's not necessarily that these are deities or divinities, rather they are characterizations. Uh, as many of the parts of theme in the Kabbalah are also characterizations or aspects of looking at the divine manifestation. So, essentially, truth, as it's experienced by the human being, has variability. Um, it is not to be so fluffy in language and so nice in language to say that, oh, we are all correct in one way or another. What is essentially saying is that all these things are possible and can exist in the same space. Now, I see this often be used in a political way, and I think that is absolutely unnecessary, uh, but I do believe in a spiritual sense, in a theological sense, it can kind of open the floodgates in how we look at the Kabbalah. What is the Kabbalah really trying to say? And essentially, what I get out of it at least in short, without any sort of extensive discourse, is that in Kabbalistic metaphysics, we acknowledge the paradoxical aspects of reality. It is that there is a truth, and the truth includes all the lower ideals. Uh, in a sense, it is hard to lie, 
<laughs> harder to lie than we think it is. Now, you can. You can lie in, in the immediacy of it, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have the restrictions and regulations that we do in a theological and spiritual context. But in the greater sense, it is far more complex than that. Now, one of the ways we know this is because a recon peen, or the long face as it's often called, is a holder of another name. Uh, like Xeron Peen, the short face, is typically described as hot-tempered, while Arikan Peen, the long face, is described as the infinitely patient one. Um, that is a very grand title, very grand description. However, it makes sense in the sense that the infinitely patient, the higher aspect of the divine face or the divine revelation and manifestation is not so swayed in a sense, um, that's a really, really bad way to put that, uh, not swayed, but is not so impacted or uh, direct with how he deals with the goings-on of mundane human living. Um, now, there is one thing. There is one thing. Uh, you will find in many spaces, people will say, let us pray long and slow to reach a recon peen and let us play, pr excuse me, pray quickly to reach Xeron peen. This is uh, actually considered very improper. Um, it makes sense. We find it in a variety of places. However, in the Zohar and in the Orthodoxy, we will see that they say, do not do that. And there's a reason, even in Torah descriptions, why you do not do that. It is because you are essentially creating division between the divinity rather than accepting its oneness. And its oneness is necessary for us to actually bridge the gap to this uh, infinite truth that I was speaking of earlier. Um, and I believe that is a generalized summary. If you have any questions, interest related to this, please feel free to message me. I just wanted to share this and I thought you guys might enjoy it. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.